happy Saturday print fam. Wearing the same shirt as yesterday still, I haven't gotten ready for the day, but I am trying to get the office cleaned up. So before we had the couches over here, but we're getting them recovered. Unfortunately, the guy did not pick them up today. So we temporarily moved them to the other garage until we have got them taken. So let me turn around, show what's going on. So kind of the idea will be where paperweight used to be, we're gonna have some large media storage. From there, we are gonna have the printer. So the printer, I think I've told you, is about 12-ish feet long. And then we'll have the Duplo at this end. I'm not sure where that will be or what. Um, then the hope is that we can have some sort of work table here to make it easier for cutting banners and just weeding and doing different things. Then we've got the cotton candy machine on the cart. We've got the heat press on the cart so that that can move as necessary. We've got paperweight here so that when we need to use it, pull a cart out, access paperweight, and then we've got all of the paper supplies, which it sucks that I have thousands of dollars of paper and no printer to print them with. So kind of just a rundown of the paper that I have right now. Plain 12 by 13, some eight and a half by 11 right there. And then some 80 pound smooth 11 by 17, some legal paper, so eight and a half by 14. Some nice glossy text, that's a hundred pound. Envelopes, number 10, regular, no window. And then some super smooth 100 pound glossy cover, 18 by 12 a different brand of glossy cover 18 by 12. That is a hundred pound matte 18 by 12. And then in between we have some boxes, some plain 11 by 17 paper. <coughs> Business card boxes and some products for our customer. Then behind that we just have some journal storage of my old computer repair stuff. And then we have the giant cutter, not really that giant. But hopefully, um, I asked my brother to come help me get these finished up today. These have been here for almost two years and in the current state. So we got to get some feet put on the bottom and then I've got the top here. So we'll set that on the top. We'll get the cutter up there. I've also got a, a ring binder that I will probably set out here as well so that we can do books. So that is actually in this storage cabinet, which also has some paper and a few other supplies. So it's looking really good. I'm super excited. Still a lot to do, but it will be much better. Everything, I'm doing an experiment. So I'm running up on a city. So I tried to see online if anyone did it, and everything just refers to apps. So Let's see how it turns out. It's almost done. All right, print fam. I officially have this stupid thing working. Let me explain what happened. So, this button housing, the button was pushed in because when they have put the wire strapping on it, they have tightened it so tight that the edging had bent, or the edge, so the button was forced in. So the button could not fully come out. So after trial and error and whatnot, we ended up taking off the housing. So this thing is just not screwed in right now, but it still works. So I'm able to use the cutter. The other problem we had was we couldn't get the blade to always engage, come to find out there's a brake mechanism that does need to be on. So, I've got a bunch of prints, or a bunch of postcards that I cut down. Let's show you how it works. So, first thing you do is turn it on. You get the nice laser line showing where it's gonna cut. You have a digital readout. So, to get it to do the readout, you gotta bring it all the way to the front. So the minimum cut it can do, at least from the back edge to the front, is about two inches. So we can set it at exactly two. 
we can put our paper in. We can stack it all nice, push it in, nice and flat. Once we have it there, we twist the knob, which makes the pinch thingy go down. So that's nice and tight. So that is not going to move. Next thing we have to do is put down the protective shield. And this actually engages a magnetic button. And then I can't show you because I gotta use my hand to hold the camera. You push this button and this button at the same time. So let's see if I can maybe hold the camera while I push both of them. releases the shield and my prints all right I don't know if they're all in the right order since the stack fell but now I have these perfectly cut it might actually be two inch squares then you release Paper. You can release it as high as you want and then pull it out. So it's working. The only thing I have noticed, at least it's starting to go in now that I've done quite a bit of cutting, there was some like debris being on the edge of the cut. So it looks like the more and more we cut, the more it's going away. Let's see if I can find a cut that maybe I'm just losing my mind. Probably. It was there, I promise. Oh, there's some. So, kind of makes the cut a little dirty. So, hopefully it'll work though. I'm now satisfied. I did buy a new button off of eBay. They wanted $50 for this button from Amazon. eBay had it for a two pack for five. Downside, I gotta wait three weeks for it to get here. But as you saw, it still works for now. So let's get into the office, get the rest of our work done. All right, print fam. Got the office kind of cleaned up a little bit more. Got a job laid out for Bob to do. Got the cutter moved as I showed you how to use it. All that's about the same. And got a bunch of jobs cut here. So I'm gonna call it tonight. I did not meet my goal today. It is about 2.30 a.m. So if you wanna support the channel, you can buy a two o'clock club sticker. If you shop on Amazon, you can use the Amazon affiliate links. Your price stays the same, but a small portion goes back to help the channel. You can also hit a thumbs up, subscribe, share with friends. That helps too. So appreciate you. Thanks Cam for editing the video. Have a great day, great weekend, great night, great whatever. We'll see you next time. Peace.